Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I seal my bassoon reeds with beeswax. And it's the easy way. I'm going to start by getting something to melt my beeswax in. I like to use a wax seal furnace or any kind of wax melter will do like for candles. You can get these and other materials on Cassandra Bassoon's Amazon Idealist. Purchase it directly from Amazon. While your wax is melting, grab a couple wooden golf tees and something to snip them with. I like to snip them just above the fattest part of the base. And then do this for as many reads as you'd like to seal. The reason I use cotton thread is because I find it absorbs the wax much better than a nylon thread. We're going to take the base of that golf tee that we just cut and put it into the butt of the reed and give it a little push to make sure it's snug so that we don't have any leaks. video I'm going to be using blue beeswax. Normally I use a non-dyed yellow beeswax or white beeswax like you can see here, but I have a lot of fun and dye my beeswax different colors like pink or a dark blue. Once your wax is melted, take a plugged reed and we're just going to dip it into the beeswax and rotate it. It doesn't have to be too long, but we do want to make sure the wax has seeped all the way through the thread. I only dip the reed up to the second wire, but it's okay if it goes a little over. I'm taking my time in this video so I can show you the angle I use to get it just right. One of my favorite parts about using beeswax is that it cools very quickly. Here's a reed that I had already dipped and it has cooled all the way. You can stop here or you can keep adding more layers of beeswax depending on your preference. I like to do a second dip so it's a little thicker. If you're doing a second layer though, make sure you don't leave the reed in the wax for too long or you'll just melt off your second layer. Here's an example of a double dipped reed. Once the wax has cooled, it's very easy to take out the plug with a little twist and pull. If you have a little bit of extra wax on the bottom, that's no problem. You can just tap it on the table to make a nice flat surface. Beeswax is also very sturdy and I haven't had any chipping or flaking. Using beeswax is also very easy to clean up. If it's still warm, you can just peel it off with your tools and put it right back in the pot. If the wax is a bit harder, all you have to do is use a heat gun or another heat source to melt it off. I had accidentally gotten a little wax on the inside of this reed and I wanted to clean it up. So I'm gonna use my heat gun and heat my mandrel until it's warm enough to melt the wax again and insert it into the reed. Besides being easy to apply, I have found that beeswax is also very cost effective compared to glues. It's also very strong, and despite common misconceptions, beeswax will not melt if your case gets warm. Beeswax melts at around 145 degrees Fahrenheit. My number one reason for using beeswax, though, is that it is non-toxic. If there's anything dangerous in the environment that the bees were living in, they would have already killed the bees before they could produce the wax for us to harvest it. We spend hours playing our bassoon, and I certainly don't want anything dangerous in my mouth. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can start making your own beeswax reeds.